In the heart of the Carpathian Mountains stood an ancient castle, its dark silhouette etched against the night sky. It was rumored to be cursed, haunted by a femme fatale whose beauty was only equal to her deadly cunning. For years, hunters had ventured into the wilds, always seeking the enchanting seductress, driven by a mix of desire and fear. One moonlit night, a group of hunters, their faces etched with determination, made their way through the twisted forest paths leading to the ominous castle. Among them was Victor, a seasoned tracker whose obsession with Alara bordered on madness. He believed he could capture her, unaware of the fate that awaited him. Inside the castle, the vampiress, known as Alara, moved like a wraith through the shadows. Her eyes, an entrancing shade of violet, watched the hunters every move. She knew they were coming, their heavy footsteps echoing through the ancient halls. As the hunters ventured deeper into the castle, Ilara's presence enveloped them like a seductive mist. One by one, they succumbed to her charms, their resolve melting away under her gaze. Victor, too, found himself captivated by her beauty, his determination waning as he fell under her spell. But Ilara was not just a mere seductress. She was a master strategist. Sensing their vulnerability, she manipulated their desires, leading them further into the castle's labyrinthine corridors. Each step they took brought them closer to their doom. In the heart of the castle, Ilara revealed herself, her crimson gown cascading like blood against the stone walls. The hunters, entranced and powerless, watched as she approached Victor. Her touch was like ice and fire, sending shivers down his spine. You seek me, she purred, her voice a melody of temptation. But in the end, it was I who found you. With a swift movement, Alara revealed her fangs, sinking them into Victor's neck. His gasp of pleasure mingled with pain as she drained his life force, leaving him weak and helpless. The remaining hunters snapped out of their trance and tried to flee, but the castle had become a maze, its walls shifting and closing in on them. Alara's laughter echoed through the halls as she hunted them down one by one, her hunger insatiable. In the end, the castle fell silent, its halls stained with the blood of the hunters who had dared to pursue the femme fatale. Ilara retreated into the shadows, her beauty and cunning immortality whispered through the ages, warning those who dared to underestimate the power of seduction and the darkness within. On a chilling October night, Tina and her friends boarded the haunted ghost ship, an attraction renowned for its spine-tingling Halloween tours. The ship, adorned with macabre props and enveloped in eerie fog, set sail, promising an evening of fright and fun. As the night progressed, the ship ventured deeper into a thick fog bank, where the atmosphere grew laden with suspense. The crew, disguised as ghosts and ghouls, intensified the experience with cleverly staged scares. Tina, initially frightened, found herself exhilarated by the haunted spectacle, her laughter echoing over the dark waters. However, as the ship sailed further into the fog, an unsettling chill settled over the deck. Whispers rode the wind, and ghostly apparitions, seemingly beyond the crew's control, began to materialize. Tina's laughter waned, her friends exchanging uneasy glances as the playful frights morphed into something more sinister. Separated from her friends, Tina ventured into the ship's depths, where the illusion of playful spooks gave way to genuine terror. Strange cries echoed through narrow corridors, and ghostly hands reached out from the fog, grasping at her. The ship groaned as if echoing the pain of souls long lost at sea. In the heart of the fog, Tina realized the ship's true nature, a vessel cursed by vengeful spirits. The playful Halloween tour had become a nightmare as the ship's real inhabitants, ghostly and vengeful, revealed themselves. Tina's screams joined the chorus of the damned as the ship, now truly haunted, faded into the fog, leaving behind a chilling tale of a Halloween night gone horribly wrong. On a Halloween night when the stars aligned just so, a cosmic anomaly occurred above the quiet town. A bewitching creature, not of this world, descended from the cosmos, its iridescent tendrils trailing behind like ghostly wisps. Unbeknownst to the townsfolk, a sinister enchantment was about to unfold. As the clock struck midnight, the creature's presence spread like a shadowy veil, captivating every soul in the town. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and its whispers carried on the night breeze wove a seductive spell around the town. 
people began to act strangely, their gazes vacant, as if their very life force was being drained away. In the heart of the town, at the old town square, the creature hovered, its tendrils reaching out like ethereal fingers. One by one, the townsfolk approached, their faces devoid of emotion. They stood in a trance, completely in awe of the bewitching visitor. As the night wore on, the town transformed into a ghostly spectacle. Streetlights flickered, casting eerie shadows that danced on the walls of the enchantment-bound houses. The once lively town square became a haunting scene, where the drained life force of the townsfolk fed the creature's insatiable hunger. Among the entranced, young Tommy, a curious boy, resisted the enchantment's pull. With a trembling heart, he ventured closer, observing the cosmic visitor with a mixture of fear and fascination. His eyes met the creatures, and for a moment, he glimpsed the void of space within them, realizing the true horror of what had befallen his town. Summoning all his courage, Tommy raced to the town's ancient library, seeking knowledge that might break the creature's spell. Through ancient tomes and whispered legends, he discovered a ritual, a chant that could repel the intergalactic intruder. With the ancient words on his lips, Tommy returned to the town square. Standing on the edge of the bewitched circle, he began the chant, his voice trembling yet determined. The words echoed through the night, resonating with ancient power. The cosmic creature shrieked, its iridescent form quivering in pain. The enchantment shattered, releasing the townsfolk from their trance. Slowly, they regained their senses, their memories clouded by the supernatural fog that had lifted. As the first light of dawn broke the darkness, the cosmic intruder retreated, vanquished by the bravery of a young boy. The town was saved, but the memory of that bewitching Halloween night lingered, a chilling reminder of the cosmic horrors that could descend upon the most unsuspecting of places. On Halloween night, after the lights went out, the neighborhood turned into a magical masquerade. Cats donned tiny capes, claiming their roles as midnight superheroes. Pumpkins, once mere decorations, whispered secrets to each other in the dark. Invisible elves swapped candy for socks, leaving giggles in their wake. Ghosts hosted dance parties in the living room, and broomsticks took off for joy rides around the moon. The night sparkled with mischief, and the morning revealed houses filled with laughter, pumpkins wearing mismatched socks, and cats with a newfound swagger. Halloween, it seemed, was the one night when the world truly let its hair down and danced in the moonlight. We would like to extend our sincere gratitude for being a part of Mostly Ghostly, where we delve into the supernatural and explore the unknown. We hope that you have found our spine-chilling tales and mysterious encounters to be both enjoyable and informative. If you have, we kindly ask that you show your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and enabling notifications so that you never miss out on any updates regarding the eerie and unknown. We believe that sharing is caring, which is why we encourage you to share these shivers with your friends and loved ones. Remember to stay courageous in the face of haunting experiences, and may the spirits watch over you. Keeping your curiosity alive is crucial, so embrace the spooky and continue to seek the truth.